This is the Triumph Theta KA. KA stands for Klein Adira, a small adding machine. And this is a, a simple small adding machine that uh, can also subtract. It has eight digits and you can input a number using these eight input levers. Just pull the lever down to the number you want and you can read off the input right here and as you pull these levers the number you input gets added to the register down here automatically. Pressing this large button at the bottom that clears the input but leaves it the main register alone. So now you can enter another number and it gets added to what you already have. As you can see it carries automatically. You can also subtract using this button here, the minus button. If you hold this down while you pull the levers it doesn't affect the register. So if you uh, put the levers to the number you want to subtract and then let go of the minus button and push these levers back to zero. That way you subtract the number you've just entered. To clear the register you push this button on the right. Triumph Theta was a company uh, set up in Leipzig in Germany around the uh, turn of the century, that is uh, the year 1900. And at first they made uh, vacuum tubes and in around 1904 they started making uh, pinwheel calculators. Uh, Otto Holzapfel was the main engineer who, uh, who uh, did that. And uh, Otto left in 1914 uh, to set up his own company, uh, the Lipsia company. Lipsia is the Latin word for Leipzig. And in around uh, 1930, he, uh, Lipsia made uh, a small adder which was the predecessor to this. And uh, that was the Lipsia Adi 7. Uh, after the Second World War, uh, Lipsia was uh, confiscated or taken over by the East German government and uh, it became part of Triumphata, the Triumphata company. And in around 1958 they started making this as the successor to the uh, Adi 7 and it was in production for about three years. So this was made, made in uh, East Germany in, in around 1960. It has, uh, it has a serial number on the bottom of about uh, 15,000 and I think about uh, 16 or 17,000 were made. So this is one of the latest ones. I have uh, already removed two screws from the bottom of the machine so I can lift up the case to show you the inside. It uh, has a very simple mechanism. These uh, levers turn large wheels and there is a segment on these wheels right here that has uh, teeth and those interact with the register. But this, this whole segment, it's uh, it is hinged so it can either uh, not interact or interact with the uh, cog wheel of the register. And uh, yeah, in normal use it, it interacts because every time you push it it gets deflected sideways and against the, uh, the register wheel. But if you hold down this button, the minus button doesn't get deflected so then it uh, doesn't affect the uh, register wheel. On the back here is the uh, 
it's a clicking mechanism as it were. You can see this uh, this bit is spring loaded to uh, to interact with these uh, bumps. And if you press uh, the the clearing uh, input clearing button, not only does the mi minus button also get pressed down, it also releases these. Uh, and then a spring here pulls the lever back. Yeah, the clearing uh, button. The earlier versions of this machine, the uh, Lipsia Addy 7, it had a, a crank on this side to clear the register. But that has now been uh, connected up to this um, rack and pinion so that you can uh, clear it using uh, just a button press. Let me just show the underside. There you can see the serial number 15,615. So that was the Triumphator KA, thank you for watching.